Hello Daily Drafters and welcome back to the channel for today's Daily Draft. We are once again drafting Modern Horizons 3 in the second to last week of the format. That's right, we've only got two weeks left and six drafts left. I usually do an end of season tournament as well, but because the season was so short, I will be skipping that this time. Three drafts this week, three drafts next week, and the following Monday, Bloomborough set review season but let's dive into today's pack one pick one we've got a withering bloom in the common slot as well as meddler repurposer what is chthonian nightmare so two mana get three energy pay x energy sack a creature return it to the hand return creature card with mana value x from your graveyard to the battlefield activate only as a sorcery this just seems more cute than actually like good I haven't had the chance to play with Spawn Gang Commander, but this also seems incredibly great. And I think it's a very highly rated uncommon. There's a chance Chthonia Nightmare could actually be good. Uh, wow. Why did that person not take Crabomination? This card is crazy. Six mana, five, five. Emerge from artifacts. You can cast it by sacking an artifact and paying it the emerge cost reduced by that mana value. So when ETBs, they exile the top card of their library, a card at random from their graveyard, and at random from their hand, and you can cast one of those for free. This card is really good, and one of the main reasons to get into black in this format. Now there is a Titan's Vanguard, which is also really, really good with the Spawn Gang Commander, don't get me wrong. But I really want to try out Crabomination, and I think it's a really, really good card. So we're going to start here and look for potentially a couple more artifacts to be able to emerge this a little bit earlier. But it's a 6 mana 5-5 five five that like casts a spell for free. So pretty good. Lots of good, potentially good green cards here. What does this one even do? 3 mana, 3, 4. When you cast it, exile non-creature, non-land permanent. They control with 4 mana value, 4 or less. If you do, it gains when this creature leaves the battlefield. Target opponent draws a card. There's also Corum the Undertaker. So it gets plus X plus O, where X is the number greatest power among creatures in all graveyards. When it attacks, each player mills a card. You can play a land, cast spells in graveyard that would put from libraries this turn. That's interesting there's all the commons are not great malevolent rumbles fine propagator drone is pretty good as well i'm gonna take the thief here and we kind of have like three different decks underneath us at the moment we'll see which direction to go Got a decent red-green start, although we already passed Titan's Vanguard, so we know our, our neighbor's going to be in red-green or, or pretty close to it. Obstinate Gargoyle could be interesting in a Crabomination deck. There's Annoyed Altasaur for big green, but I think I'm going to take the Nightshade Dryad over. Angel puts us in like a fourth different direction. Charge Bug goes into energy, which we're not really doing right now. So, let's just take the Dryad to go with the Thief. It is another colorless source to help cast this. And... We still have options, so we'll see where we need to go here. Eldrazi Ravager, 6 mana, 6-6, six, six, with Cycling 2 and Annihilator 1. And you can sack two Eldrazi to bring it from your graveyard to your hand. There's also Landscape Nesting Grounds, Pyretic Rebirth for a potential red-black deck. I do like red-black if the deck comes together. Is that better? So there is also a Dreadmobile, a Transmogrant, another Gargoyle here. Black-white could be open. I, I think Crabomination is better than Thieves of Existence, and Pyretic Rebirth goes really well into the black-red deck we kind of already have. So I'm actually going to take that here. Now we've got Rao, 
and the Implicit Maze, which is a card I always say I want to try out because it's really good against me, but I never actually play it. There's also a Transmogrant and a Frogmere Enforcer. If we're going to go Red Black Artifacts, the Enforcer could actually be pretty good. Same with the Transmogrant and the Artifact, like I said, the Crabomination, like Frogmere Enforcer on two, or on four, I guess, and also has Affinity, can make the Crabomination cost quite a bit less. I feel like we can get a Transmogrant if we want it. Let's take the Enforcer here. Now there's a Dreadmobile, three mana, three, three menace. You can sack other artifacts to put counters on it. There's also some fixing here, but it's Eviscerator's Insight, which could be fine. I'm going to take the Dreadmobile. And Arcbound Condor is perfect in red black. As well as Simulacrum could work, but Condor is exactly what you want in a red black deck like this. And what wield? So 3 mana, 3, 1 ETBs, Exile Target Player's Graveyard, but is an MDFC, as well as Inventor's Axe, which is an artifact, but not really one you want to be playing too much. So I'll just take that here. This is, this is a dual land for us. I mean, we've got some green if we want to play it. I don't think we need Mog Mob. Nothing but black and red cards here. So the Simulacrum is an artifact. This deck will most likely want to have high artifact count. So to cut the black card here. Ooh, second to last pick, Nesting Grounds. I don't think that's for us today, but that is a fun card and a good card in my opinion. Only black card on the whole pack is Expanding Ooze. And only red card is Glimpse the Impossible. So that's perfect. <laughs> So this is a 3 minute 2-2. Two, two. Whenever you cast a colorless spell, you make a spawn. And whenever another colorless creature ETBs, this pings your opponent for one. I do like Glimpse. I hate taking it. Pick one in pack two. I mean, maybe there's a world where we could still consider green-red, but... Then we're giving up on a lot of the synergy and our best card here. I don't like doing this, but uh, yeah, that was a horrible pack. All right, there's the Cranial Ram. That's, that's kind of what we're looking for here. Flare, no thank you. Axe, no thank you. Oh, the only black cards are gold here. There's a couple of decent white cards, but we're pretty far away from that. Cranial Ram is basically what we're looking for in this red-black deck here. Wither and Bloom, kind of worrying that there are no red cards in this entire pack, pick three. But can't really be too upset with a Wither and Bloom here. And now all of the red cards are here. <clears throat> that was weird. And many great ones. There's another Wither and Bloom as well as Discharge, Reiterating Bolt, and to a lesser extent, Simulacrum. I guess I'll take Discharge here. It's just fine by itself. You don't even need any other energy to make it good. It's just a good removal spell. So is Fanged Flames and Refurbished Familiar and Unstable Amulet. Well, this is tough. I think we're pretty locked into red black. And as good as Fanged Flames is, I think Refurbished Familiar is the key to this deck. So I feel like I have to take it here as much as I want a Fanged Flames. And we do get another one. Still don't regret the pe previous pick, but we do get two of them now, which is great. <clears throat> Here's another red black land. Splashes white if we want to. Eviscerator's Insight. I think I'll take this. If we get some of those uh, transmogrants and stuff to wheel or get, get them late, <clears throat> pack three and stuff, Insight will be pretty good. It's also pretty good with Simulacrum, the Germ Token. I think it's better than just a random dual land that we're probably not going to use to splash anything. So, 
I would like another cranial ram, another couple of removal spells, another wither and bloom, another discharge, things like that, and then just some more of the artifact um, synergy cards. We do have a condor already, which I do like. Which one is this? Number of swamps? Probably not. This is a black red land. Charge bug is an artifact. I just don't know how much and how aggressive we're going to be. But I guess I'll take it here. Didn't wheel anything, unfortunately. Kind of didn't wheel anything here. I mean, maybe I doubt we play Flare. I'm not really playing Axe, I don't think. This is an artifact, so maybe we could play it. Simulacrum did wheel. This card just seems better than people give it credit for. A couple other cards I would actually be interested in are like the uh, the one mana flying um, black adapt creature would be great. Things like that. All right, got another Simulacrum. I don't know if I need three of these, but we have it if we want it. <laughs> A second Crabomination. Oh, there's the Cranial Ram. But I cannot be upset here. I would love to wheel Bolt, Slith, Transmogrant, or Cranial Ram. Any one of those would be a great wheel. But I can't pass a second Crabomination. That's for sure. Just happen to be in, the, in a pack with everything else we wanted. The Simulacrum is coming down early and counting toward, toward our affinity count with Familiar, Enforcer, making Cranial Rams bigger, quicker. Alright, we've got Victimize. I don't think we need victimize there is a transmogrant here i don't really like taking it pick two but I, I wouldn't mind having one in my deck i don't think we need precursor also don't think we need skoa ember mage lots of good gold cards here kind of unfortunate we have to take a transmogrant pick two but i do think it makes our deck so i think we take it it's also pretty good with insight so we're all the simulacrums here. And this doesn't have much synergy for us. Glimpse doesn't either, even though we took it back to pick one. Boggart Traveler just doesn't seem good enough. Everything else seems pretty good, though. Alright, I've played a lot of Detectives Phoenix... And it's, it's a fine card, but there's Fanged Flames and Ghostfire Slice here. I think we have to take the Slice. It's an instant, cost one more than Flames, but could cost one mana instead. I, I like both of these, but it does go face two if we want it to. So I'll take Slice over Fanged Flames. Probably not looking to play Sentry here. Glimpse, Traveler. I think everything else is in the deck, though. That's it. Junk Diver's not good. It's just not a good card. <laughs> I see a lot of black here. Not a lot of red. Lethal throw down sack, a creature. And if it was modified, you draw a card, you kill something. A Cursed Marauder is pretty good with these Simulacrums and Transmogrants here. I think I'll take the Accursed Marauder over Lethal Throwdown, Fetid Yargantua. I do like this card. I haven't got a chance to play with it very much lately. All right, Cranial Ram, perfect pick five here. I don't like Ripples of Undeath or the other cards, but I do like a second Cranial Ram. If I could wheel that other Cranial Ram, we, we are in business, but I just don't think we will. <clears throat> Alright, I wouldn't mind playing another Transmogrant, but I guess I'm taking Spawn Gang Commander number two? Is that even right? 
Yeah, I think so. <laughs> it's a good card. Neither of these works for us. Quest for the Necropolis. So whenever land enters, you get a counter, pay six, put creature from a graveyard on the battlefield, one less for each counter. I just don't think any of this is going to make our deck here. Pick eight. We do still have War and Soul Trader. I don't know. I mean, it's a three mana three three with potential other upside. Buried alive, no thank you. Sundering eruption could be fine, but let's try this and let's see if we wheel that cranial ram. Or any one of the four cards I said I wouldn't mind wheeling. And we did wheel the ram, including a transmogrant, but this is perfect. Exactly what we're looking for. <clears throat> I'll take this in the event that we get a second, but even if we do, I don't think I'm playing either of them. Eh. Maybe we play a Grave Dig. I don't know. I'll see. Probably don't play Gargantua, but we'll see. Probably don't play Void Pouncer. All right. This is a decent looking uh, red black deck, which isn't one of the better decks in the format, but. I think it's got a pretty good chance with three rams and two crab abominations. So I'm going to build it, and I'll see you after deck building. All right, here's where I ended up after deck building. I went between 16, 17 lands. It's very possible that 16 is correct with this, although equipping the cranial ram is going to require some lands, some extra land from us. Um, and I cut one of the spawn gang commanders. It's a good card. I just think our deck is so focused on artifacts with... 13 artifacts in the deck that it it just really wants to make sure it has a high artifact count. I mean, if I didn't cut the second commander, I'd probably cut a simulacrum, which would cut our artifact count and make double familiar, enforcer, things like that. Not as consistent, ram not as good, things like that. So I think I'm going to keep it like this. I'm kind of excited for this one. I hope it's able to compete. This seems like one of the fun decks of the format that that would be fun to play if it was good. Obviously not as fun if you lose, but we're going to give this one a shot with 17 lands. Maybe I'll adjust that in the middle of the draft if we feel like we need to. But I will see you in game number one. All right, we are up first with a pretty darn good starting hand with the Cursed Marauder getting to nab their first non-token creature, sacrificing the Transmogrant, which is a decent creature to sacrifice. So I am in for that. Looks like they're mulling to five here. Galvanic Discharge, sure. So, I think I do this. Next turn, we could play Marauder and Discharge and hold up Discharge if we wanted. Looks like they're not going to do anything. So... can't play Marauder here because <laughs> we would have to sack a creature. They still don't have anything. And neither do we. So... Yeah. Pay one, keep two energy for some reason. I mean, I guess I could have played Marauder, but I think... Marauder, I'd like to be able to hit something bigger. Like if they play, like, Mountain into... Yeah, even, even that. Although the Simulacrum can just take care of that right now as well. Would I rather do it this way or use the Marauder? I think I'm going to use the Marauder here. 
Well, the Marauder is going to require me to sacrifice Transmogrant. That's okay. So, my turn. Cranial Ram, not bad. So we'll do this and play Cranial Ram here. Just a 2-1, but we can get this back. If we draw a land, we can play Crabomination. And it looks like they just they mulled a five and just didn't have a good hand there. But we were we were off and running, so we were doing some good stuff. Got a decent little start here. The Condor says we want to hold these cheap artifacts, but the aggression of our deck says we don't. <laughs> so I think we'll start dumping them here. Although, you know, when this dies, it does have modular, so... Yeah, that's a fine... I mean, if you want to use that to kill my 1-1, one, one, you, you feel free. Sure. Now, a, a mountain would be good... But if we don't draw Mountain, we can play Simulacrum and kill their 3-drop, so... Not the end of the world, but a Mountain would let us do both of these things, and this becomes a 3-1. Okay, I'll keep it on close to the top, I guess. Next turn we play Condor, following turn we play Ram plus Wither and Bloom maybe. What is that? So whenever you draw your third card each turn you amass three. Alright. Well, hopefully they don't draw three cards this turn because Wither and Bloom can deal with that unless they draw three. But I need to get this thing down here, I think. So we'll attack and just hope they don't draw three. Because if they're left with a 6-6, six, six, that's going to be a problem for me. Thinking about what to kill here. What do you do? That's tough. <laughs> sack another creature, make a blood if you sack it. So, no, it's sack. Three mana sack, six bloods, return creatures. That's a 6-6 six, six flyer. Jeez. Uh, okay. I can't really do anything about that. So start beating me with a 6-6 flyer, I guess? I had another artifact, I could like shrink that down and use this to, to kill it, but I don't have that. So, I just don't think I'm attacking into any of this here. I mean, I guess I can attack here. And if they block with Shilgengar, that means they have some sort of protection if I go to kill it with the Simulacrum or with Wither and Bloom here. 
I'd be fine trading it for the 3-3. Three, three. Sure. They're just going to turn it into a blood? Okay, yeah. All right, end the turn. They're not showing much else here. They didn't want to get rid of either of the two cards in their hand with the blood. Or maybe they have a way to draw a card and then also use the blood to make a 3-3. Let's see here. My turn, I guess. So I can sack the germ token, equip the ram to give plus four plus O to something, and Try to attack with like a I can I can attack with a charge bug, it's got menace. Dreadmobile. I mean, it's got menace as well. Neither of these were great draws. This is a 5-4 Menace, though. I mean, Cranial Ram is doing some work here. If they have that 5-mana card draw spell, I can just Wither and Bloom their 3-3 before... Alright, breathe your last. Sure. Move this here next turn. We have another artifact coming. They also kind of have to block it. I mean, they don't have to, but... We can't just keep taking six in the air. Could race here if we wanted. Okay, pass it back. Spawn Gang Commander. Maybe in a bit. Let's start here. Add to our artifact account. They clearly have an instant.
I don't think I want to go for Wither and Bloom if they do choose to block here. It looks like they don't. Okay. So we have a free sack outlet here for other creatures. So if they go to remove the condor, we can sack it, turn it into a treasure. Keeps our artifact count high here. Also puts the puts its three counters on the simulacrum, becomes a 4-4. Four, four. I guess. I guess I can do this here now. Maybe that wasn't right to do pre-combat, but I mean I can threaten to activate this too. So I mean to get in here I still think they have removal for it. They just don't want to use it necessarily. But I think I would also just be fine trading. I don't want to play Wither and Bloom into open mana. Okay, what do you got? Okay, it just trades. Sure. Put it here. Hold up Wither and Bloom and Spawn Game Commander or equip Cranial Ram. I, I could have also... I forgot that had Menace. I should have crewed it with probably Spawn Game Commander. That Hopefully it doesn't come back to haunt us. I'm just, like, dreading some sort of board wipe here. Um, I'm going to hold up the Spawn Gang and Wither and Bloom because I can always just throw two damage at their face. All right, that's fine. Sure. I see. All right, I can wither and bloom that here. And I probably will. Yeah, alright, they saw all the kind of... I could even animate Dreadmobile, equip Cranial Ram to it. I had some options there. I, I didn't attack with that, which was definitely a mistake, but... Worked out alright. Alright, another kind of slow start here. That's what happens when you put, like, four of these one-drops in your deck. You draw a lot of them sometimes, but, you know... Drawing cards like, um... The Flyer, the 2-1 Flyer that makes up discard a card would be good draws here. We have double Crebomination, which we still haven't cast. <laughs> Turn three, Ghost Fire Slice. Hopefully no X2. That's eh, an X4, how about that? <laughs> we'll probably slice that down next turn. What do you got? Hopefully no... I was about to say, okay. Um, I mean, a 4-4 is a problem. Is a 1-4 that could potentially add 4 mana a bigger problem? I think I need to preserve my life until I can get to these things. This could be wrong. I mean, they can very well cast some 5-drop. That's also a big problem for me this turn, but... Yeah, that's not as huge of a concern, necessarily. Hmm... 
Do I sacrifice Simulacrum right now to get rid of Ronus? So they can't use the mana on their turn. The fact that they played this as a tap land kind of tells me they're going to play some sort of six drop next turn. They could play like Colossal Dreadmask or something. All of that's pretty bad. So I'm actually just going to trade these off. They can't even Eternalize it right now. So they have to have another green for that. Spawn gain next turn and then Crabomination the following turn. Hope they don't dump their hand before Crabomination. I would love to get a card out of their hand too. Best thing would be exiling a card at random from their graveyard, which ends up being Fanatic, so they can't eternalize it. Oh yeah, that's fine. Don't care about that. <laughs> Alright, Crabomination next turn. Any of these are good hits right now. <clears throat> can't do anything about that. So whenever a land enters the battlefield under their control, they can pay one in a green. If it's attached to a creature, create a copy of that creature. If you didn't, you make a 1-1. One, one. So I can pay two, throw an Eldrazi at it for two, but that doesn't do anything. So yeah, that has to resolve. Conversely, I can just get rid of this thing right now, although they're left with the Nantuko here. So I, I have to pay colorless, though. So pay this and that, shoot it, pay this, and I have a, my whole board would trade for that. So that doesn't seem great. So I guess we're doing this. What do we get? Put a 1-1 one, one counter on a creature, then double the 1-1 one, one counters. Can't overload it. I can get a 4-4 four, four, or a 2-2. Two, two. All right, I didn't get great options, but I'll take a free 4-4, four, four, I guess. And no attacks. Refurbished Familiar could get their last card, and if they dump their hand, I can draw a card. All right, you get another Golden Tail Trainer. This could get a bit out of hand. Fanatic technically can eternalize at some point here. Little do you know that that just turns it into a 3-3. Like, it already got everything it's worth, so I'm fine with that. Okay. Ooh. Not the greatest currently. Just deals one to something. Can get rid of this. Let's start here. That's actually pretty good. I could I can shoot down the trainer here. Next turn. I also have two damage to throw around from the spawn gain commander. I like our spot here. Okay, they have a 4-4. Four, four. It's also pretty good. So seven mana, I can do this as well as this to get rid of the Nantuko behind it. And two goes a 2-2, two -two, right? No, it's a 1-1. One -one. Okay. Yeah, I think this is a bigger issue. So let's kill that. 
and then yeah, I'd be fine trading off the 4-4 here if they wanted to. Yeah, they just didn't have a lot of power left and we had a nice little board. Power in the five and six drops. All right, starting on the draw. Eh, hands okay. Simulacrum on one more than likely. Discharge on two. And then we get to decide what option we want on three. More than likely Dreadmobile. Yeah, I'm discharging that for sure. Let's target that. Pay one. And then, yeah, I think I'm going to Dreadmobile next turn. Because it doesn't have haste or anything. Okay, it's got Death Touch, right? Yeah. So let's just play this. It makes both of these cheaper to the point where next turn I could actually play both of them. Assuming neither of these die here. Uh, that did die. That's unfortunate. They don't realize how good that is for them. <laughs> Getting rid of just my 1-1 one, one here. Yeah, sure. That's the second time someone's gotten rid of my Simulacrum by just playing an Accursed Marauder and... Did some work there for sure. Um... I think this time I'll play Familiar. Can hold up Dreadmobile if they go to kill it. Hopefully they don't kill the Dreadmobile here. Could use Wither and Bloom. Looks like they don't have that. Okay, cool. Need another swamp pretty badly. No, okay. Guess we do. Let's get a four four down. Crew and attack, I suppose. Okay, nothing better than Kami to use there. That's fine by me. Now let's get rid of that. Or not? What do you got? Insight. Oh, okay. Sure. In response to this trigger, I'm going to go ahead and crew this here. And then also... No, I don't want to sacrifice it because then this trigger still has to resolve, so... Get rid of the Accursed Marauder. The lack of a second swamp is hurting us here. They gotta do something, I would think. And I would think the Dreadmobile's probably the best thing to kill. Um, yep. Can't do anything about that. A lot of lands over there. Hmm. 
Okay, down goes that. Making our cranial ram just worthless here. <laughs> sure. Got a bunch of removal. Let's hope they kind of whiff here. Looks like they might have. Spawn gang commander, pretty good. These just add a color list, so let's do this, this, choose that target, sacrifice itself here. Resolves, you gain no life. Not that you would have, because it is devoid. It doesn't have any colors, so they wouldn't have gained any life, but sure. Okay. That will do it. Alright. Wasn't the greatest of draws from us there, but... Yeah, we had enough creatures to get the job done. Alright, hand isn't perfect here, but I think it's fine. We can use Marauder to trade with their two-drop more than likely here. We can at least cast a Soul Trader, so... Sack a non-token. So even if we play Ram first, we can't use this to sacrifice that. Um, but now we will play Ram first. Because I'm not just going to play this to sacrifice itself. And I assume they don't want to use their Galvanic Discharge to kill that. Alright, Just Guy Energy, what do you got? Super Conductor, alright. Yeah, let's do this. Get a card out of their hand, I can trade with this, and if they want to pay 3 energy to shoot down the familiar, they're welcome to. I just don't think they will. So yeah, I'll just attack there. Next turn. So I could actually cast this for three mana next turn. If I sack the familiar. Will I want to do that though? I don't know. Probably not. I'll probably want to play familiar and marauder here. Oh, that's brutal. That's really good. Gosh, every time that my my opponents have done things like that, it's just been so bad for me when they've just like ruined my affinity. All right, Crabomination, come on in. I'm going to get a Simulacrum out of their graveyard, but Get it down early here. Get a card out of their hand. There's the Galvanic Discharge. Yeah, this is among the worst Crabomination hits out there, but it's still pretty good. It's still like a, a straight two for one, although I did have to sack my 2-1 Flyer to get it out early here. Alright, I'm sure they're going to sack their Witch Enchanter to the Cursed Marauder here, but I'll make them do it. Just trade these off here. 
And then Soul Trader and the turn. See if they want the energy. It looks like they want a chump blocker or a way to block <laughs> Crabomination here. All right, my turn. One, two, three, four. They missed a land drop last turn, if I'm not mistaken, so... Yeah, it looks like a Johnny is the card going to the graveyard. It's a good card. See if they tap down my creature. Looks like they do. Would I trade Soul Trader for both of these? I think I would. They might not even block, because I'm representing Wither and Bloom as well, so... Send them on in. So whatever that last card is, is probably another 5 or 6 drop that's better than a Johnny Fells the Godsire. So that's kind of scary. Oh, okay. Uh... Yeah, not tapping anything down. Don't know why, but I mean, I have to attack all, right? They have wing it or something? Uh, equal to twice the number of creatures you control. All right, well, that works. Still hoping they don't draw the land to cast whatever that thing is. Okay. I'm just going to play around some sort of combat trick. I don't... Well, I mean, I've got the charge bug to use the energy, but, like, if they have wing it or... I'm trying to think of some other combat trick they could have. Um, I feel like they would have used it against, like, this last turn. So I'm going to guess they don't have one here. And then attack... Pay the energy because it makes familiar lethal by itself next turn. Then pass the turn. Now they need an answer to familiar here. And they don't have it. We've gotten some kind of lucky wins. Our opponent hasn't been doing a, a ton of things in a lot of these games, but we take those. Holy cranial ram. I mean, I, I guess... I guess I'm keeping the hand. We need some more lands, but we've got all the, the cranial rams we need here. Dross claw. we got the mirror. All right, what do we do here now? 
think I'm gonna charge bug first. Okay, sure. It's not great for me, but... Swamp. No, mountain is like the worst. I don't need more mountains, I need a swamp. Do I block here? I think the answer to that is... Mm, yes. That would have been pretty good in our deck. We didn't see any of those in this draft. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, let's do Condor. We have two pings off of it next turn with two artifacts entering assuming it survives it very well might not if it doesn't that's pretty bad for us because we don't have another artifact creature currently and we don't get to use its modular counters um but i think it's better than playing double ram and potentially missing out on the two triggers here so those two triggers might not matter unless they play an x2 Yeah, they've got removal. Darn, darn, darn. Yeah, decline that. Alright, we're just playing the mirror, and it looks like their mirror might have outran our mirror, but... Ooh. Well, this could be interesting. Guess I can Ghostfire Slice their Molten Gatekeeper? I'd like to play this as a 4-4 rather than a 2-2. Seems a little bit better. We don't win this race, so I feel like I kind of have to block. I don't like doing it, but... Yeah, I think I've just got a block. Like, this race is just, with the Dross Claw and everything, it's just not working in our favor. Although... <laughs> Maybe now it is with an 8-2 attacking, and next turn we've got plus 4, plus 1 coming again, so... Need to dodge a couple of draw steps from them. If they can kind of attack us while still building out their board, that would be pretty bad for us here. 7-5 can't block, or we can't block. I mean, we could, it would be a chump though. But if they attack and don't have removal, we win, so... What do they have? That's a chump blocker. So take 9 down to 3. Take 10, 11 down to 1. I can't go to 1 though, can I? Because then I just die to a Dross Claw trigger. So what are my outs then? My outs would be a removal spell for this. Like, 
Galvanic Discharge or something, but the Dross Claw just kills me if I do that. That feels bad. That didn't work, clearly. I left myself alive, but we just certainly haven't drawn very well in these last couple of turns. I feel like we had outs to some pretty... Like, two turns ago, we had outs to a lot of wins there, but... Yeah. And now we don't have much. I mean, we've drawn two lands in a row, a third will end this game. Okay, that's something, I guess. Now, they do have this to bring back as a 3-3 and equip it with a bunch of stuff here, so we're still dead. Oh, perfect. Now we're dead two different ways. Four, so I could give it plus eight, plus eight, 13. That is 13, that makes them chump here. Because this comes back tapped, right? Yeah, they chump, and then they bring that back, and then they equip and attack me. The only thing I can do is block one of them, sacrifice it, and kill the other one. That's the only out I have here. Oh, I was so close. Why has it got to be that? This is an interesting game. We're, we're probably going to lose it here. But... I feel like we got close. Just like one turn earlier on a couple of these cards, and I think we had it in the bag pretty easily, but that is not how the top of the deck shook out. Wow, there's your first land in a while. Okay, go to two, I guess. guess. They both can come back from the graveyard here, so neither of them are great for me. What's my out here? Crabomination might, might get me something? One creature doesn't even save me, so, I mean, I need, like, multiple things here. I mean, maybe it get, prolongs this one more turn. Or wait. No, actually, is that lethal? Plus eight. Five plus, oh my gosh, did we just get lethal? It has haste. <gasps> That's one of the wildest finishes. That I don't think we had another out in our entire deck. Crabomination might as let us survive another turn, but that was not looking great for us. Holy cow. Those are the kind of games that I tilt if I lose, because I, I didn't deserve to win that one there. Although, like I said, we did draw pretty badly to get the lands, but holy cow, gotta love it.
Oh, this hand is so close. I mean, we could risk it for a uh, for a swamp here, but we need two for the condor. This is just kind of a removal spell, so darn. As much as that hand was really close, I think it was just not quite keepable. And here, I actually think I'm going to get rid of the soul trader. Is that right? Yeah, because I already have a turn three play because of this here. And the Marauder's just going to basically pick off their first play. More than likely. What do they have for a single green that they're getting priority for? Maybe like that plus one, plus one counter and death touch and stuff? Nightshade Dryad. It's so not great to play the Marauder here. I think I'm going to play the Familiar. Really hope that they don't have Writhing Chrysalis. If they do, I probably just lose. Oh, well, I'll just help, help them out, basically. Cut rid of the Phoenix out of their hand. All right, Writhing Chrysalis, turn three. No. Close. Oh, this is just so awkward with my entire board here. Or with my entire setup. Um, and, and mana situation. Doesn't have a reach, does it? No. Guess I'll just put more pressure in the air here. I can play a 2-2, but do I really even want a 2-2 here? I mean, it adds to Cranial Ram count. I don't have the mana to really pay play with like a 4-4 here. I guess I'll play the 2-2. Swamp would be great. I could cast everything in my hand. I'm just waiting for Chrysalis to come down and just ruin my day. <laughs> this thing could be a 6-6 six, six Trample as well. But we do have a nice clock in the air here. And Cranial Ram could really add to that. Come on. They can't collect evidence six yet for this, so we're not under threat of like an 8 8 flyer just yet. And I don't think they're going to block with Witness, and honestly, probably not Dryad either. But if they do, I think I'm probably okay with it. Ru it removes my cranial ram count by one. Oh, I didn't even see they had... Oh, I just totally forgot about that. Alright, well that was a punt. That was a huge punt. Oh well. It says reach, because of course it does. Yeah, I just don't think we're winning this one here. Even if I didn't punt there, like, they still would have gotten it back. They're just going to play this turn. It's got reach. Like, I'm... I can attack into it with Cranial Ram and stuff. It's just... Like, we're taking eight right now. We're dead next turn. Like... Oh, they have a trick as well. No, plus one. Pl that was what they had earlier. And it gets a counter. It gets their other creature back. All right. Well, they got us. 
Seven and O's are really hard to get, but we'll take a six and one. Or a uh, potential seven and one, I suppose. Oh, too little too late. What are you going to sacrifice now? That They have 11 points of trample. Sacrifice the Dryad here. Yeah, and then we die to all that. 13, darn. Could have equipped that for four. Hit him for four. That's eight. Go to five, four. We still just didn't have it. All right, here we are first. The hand is slow, but we got a lot of good cheap cards we could draw, and we already have a good amount of lands toward some of our better cards here. This is technically, it could be a five drop if we sacrificed the ram. I'm still thinking back to last game. If we would not punted and sacrificed, or like just like threw away that 2-2, maybe there's a world where we had lethal on that last turn, but I, I, I still don't think so. We, I think we put him to two. If my math was right, so not exactly. One turn too late. All right, what do we got? I mean, next turn, all we have is Simulacrum Attack for three, assuming they don't play an X2 here, which is making a big assumption. No play. All right, that's something here. We'll go ahead and just play it, as it does add to Cranial Ram count. It also means we could sack it next turn. Five minus three is two. We could technically sack it next turn for Curbomination. I don't think I'm going to want to be doing that, but I could. Molten Gatekeeper, sure. So we do this, followed by this here. Next turn, we've got Spawn Gang, followed by Crabomination. And even if we miss a land two turns in a row, we can cast Crabomination by sacrificing... Now we have to sacrifice a two-mana spell to make it two-mana artifact. We could sacrifice the ram. I just don't think I'm going to want to be doing that. Simulacrum yourself. Yep. Take one. This would have been really good in our deck. Probably would have played two spawn gangs if I had that. All right, they're going for it too, I guess. Maybe they can beat us on the race. We'll see. Okay. So we'll do this here. Crew here. Go to combat, attackers, attack. And do I throw this into their 1-1? One, one? Clearly that's what they're baiting me to do. Or do I hold it back to block like a 2-3 and something like that? I think I'll just go here. And if they double block, I can use spawn gang. Or just, you know, sacrifice another creature to put counters on this here.
Oops. <laughs> well, hello. My bad. <laughs> land for Crib Abominations, not bad. Does it get lands out of there? So exile a card at random, you may cast a spell. So currently have nothing out of their yard. We could hit. There, there's got to be next turn that we could very possibly have some sort of lethal with like Dreadmobile sacrifices and Spawn Gang Commander sacrifices. Like, there's going to be some sort of math I'll have to do here. Metastatic Evangel. Sure. Happy to trade my 3-1 for that. Or they'll just get a flying counter on it. Now, I can't really kill that. Now, I can kill it with Wither and Bloom next turn, and I probably will. It's going to be a problem, especially now that it permanently flies. Carbomination potentially hitting Winging out of their yard isn't the end of the world. But we do have to hit a land for that to happen. If I don't hit a land, I could sacrifice Ram. But again, I don't think I want to do that either. So, they played this as a tap land, which tells me the card in their hand requires five or six mana, I think. Because why else would you play this as a tap land at this point in the game, right? So maybe I do sacrifice Cranial Ram to Crib Abomination. Oh, I could also just sacrifice a spawn to it. That That's a lot easier to do. <laughs> and do I want to hold up... No, I'm just going to... I'm just going to play it from this. Alright. What do we get? <clears throat> Got their last card. Hopefully it's a good one. Scurry of Gremlins. Wow. Yeah, that, that would have killed us out of nowhere. Can give all our creatures plus one plus oh in haste here? I don't think I necessarily need to do that at this moment. I can do that after I play maybe another creature or two. No attacks. End of the turn. And now I have no cards in hand. 
I mean, the scurry only cost four, so they technically didn't have to play this as a land, but... Are they going to go for a big swing here? I mean, if they attack, they, they've got to be dead on the backswing, one way or another, right? Especially with Wither and Bloom in our hand. It's a lot of math going on here. Don't blame him for taking a, a hot second. Okay, get in for three. I can kind of only afford to spawn gang for one trigger because I have to sacrifice one, pay a mana to sacrifice the other to throw it at the face. So unless I draw my, um, my landscape here. And then I could do two. Instead, it's just a swamp. There's just so many different things they could possibly have here. I mean, I can equip this, activate that, kill something, put a counter on something else. Like, all that seems good. I just... I mean, they're going to kill, potentially, the Dreadmobile here. I feel like if I wait one or two more turns, I just I've got this pretty easily. Barring another scurry of gremlins from their hand, I suppose. I could also just be missing lethal, but again, they have a card, so it, it could be like Galvanic Discharge or something, which might throw it all off. They could also block something with this and sacrifice it to kill something else, so there's there's a lot of things they can do. Sure. Do I just go for it now? I think I'm going to go for it, especially with Scurry of Gremlins on the battlefield here. They can still do the block sack thing, but like, I've got Scurry of Gremlins that can just... And I also have Spawn Gang... They basically have to block this and shoot down Spawn Gang, and then I deal, hopefully, enough. I 
Hopefully I didn't just kill myself. Okay, I think that's lethal. The... It's not. Okay. I forgot this wasn't attacking. Okay. So now I have to hold this up, sacrificing these two things. So, it's an instant speed, yeah, so... Alright. Currently not dead. Maybe I punted there? I thought I had it in some some which way. I could have potentially sacrificed one of these to deal two to them. Maybe that was a way. Like if I use spawn gang to sacrifice one to throw the other one at them. But that would have... It would have netted the same amount of damage, so I don't think it would have done anything. Another scurry probably kills me. Alright, Solstice Zealot makes this one be able to tap my stuff. Alright, doing this, gonna see if this works. It did not. Okay, so do I have lethal somehow now? Depends on what I draw. Let's see. Perfect. Um, I can animate this. That's got menace. They have to double block it. Then they block, block, and die. So... Wither and Bloom here. No, no, I animate that. They tap it down. I have three attackers against their three blockers. Uh, geez, really? Come on. So they're going to tap it down here, but... Do I die on the backswing? Maybe. Okay, tap that down. Sure. They have to block both of these. They would have to block that too, but they could eat that one, so that I'm not going to attack there. Come 
Currently taking four on the backswing. Equip this here, I guess. Sure. All right. I guess I didn't need to sacrifice that. I could have. I could have waited here, just to put the counter on this potentially. All right. I'm taking five on board. If they draw one drop, I'm taking six. It's still good enough. They're dead on board currently. Oh no, what did they draw? Okay. Sure. Oh, they weren't dead. I mean, they had to chump, but they weren't dead. Wow. That was a... That was a wild... Oh, they were because of the menace. I could have just equipped, attacked, they double block and take five. Wow, what a game and what a draft. That is a 7-in-1 trophy here. With a sweet deck... And double Crabomination led us to the 7 and 1 trophy. Spawn Gang was a little underwhelming in a deck that can't produce a lot of colorless. Glad I left the second one out there. Um, but yeah, all this cheap stuff, double Familiar, triple Ram, double Crabomination. That's my second red-black deck of the format and my second red-black trophy. And we take those. Thanks for tuning in today and I'll see you next time for your daily draft.